Hello everyone, welcome to the US Stock Market Channel. Today is Thursday, February 20th, 2025. Today we are going to talk about AI military investments, Palantir and BBAI's future amidst DOD budget cuts. Let's first take a look at the current situation of the US stock market. US stocks opened lower on Thursday. The S&P 500 index retreated after hitting a record high yesterday. Retail giant Walmart's poor earnings guidance depressed market sentiment. The Dow fell 177.48 points, or 0.40%, to 44,450.11 points. The Nasdaq fell 22.72 points, or 0.11%, to 20,033.53 points. And the S&P 500 fell 15.17 points, or 0.25%, to 6,128.98 points. Walmart, a Dow component, fell sharply after the company expected sales to grow 3% to 4% this fiscal year, and the company's earnings outlook for fiscal 2026 was also lower than analysts' expectations. The weak earnings guidance overshadowed its fourth-quarter earnings report that exceeded expectations. U.S. stocks closed higher on Wednesday with the S&P 500 index hitting a record high. The Nasdaq and Dow also recorded gains as investors temporarily ignored U.S. President Trump's warnings about imposing more tariffs. We keep using the word resilience, said Elise Ausenbar, head of investment strategy at J.P. Morgan Wealth Management, adding that she expects high single-digit total return upside again from here. We think 2025 will be the year where investors have an opportunity to build on that momentum, Ausenbar said. We think there's still more room for this market rally to run higher, U.S. stocks are lagging other markets in 2025, as investors worry that Trump's protectionism and proposed import tariffs could spur inflation. Investors are also questioning the high valuations of tech giants, with four of the seven currently in the red. The seven are also contributing less to earnings growth than their peak in late 2023. Andrew Slimman of Morgan Stanley Investment Management said the influx of retail money into the most speculative areas of the stock market should be a warning sign for U.S. stock bulls. The senior portfolio manager and head of the Applied Stock Advisor team said in an interview that what keeps him up at night is the retail frenzy over hot stocks. The bull market is coming to an end when things are looking good. Investors also digested the minutes of the Federal Reserve's January Monetary Policy meeting released on Wednesday. The minutes showed that central bank officials agreed last month that interest rate cuts should be postponed until inflation falls further. Analysts pointed out that the minutes of the Federal Reserve meeting released on Wednesday were hawkish, reaffirming the market's expectations that the Federal Reserve will extend its pause in interest rate hikes. This may help drive up U.S. Treasury yields and the dollar, which in turn may limit the upside of non-yielding gold prices. Citigroup strategists said that due to the risks posed by Trump's policy proposals, the current 4. 5% increase in U.S. stocks this year may be the best short-term outcome. The Philadelphia Federal Reserve Bank's manufacturing index fell to 18.1 in February, compared with an estimate of 14.3. The range of estimates of 29 economists was 3 to 31.8. The price paid index increased to 40.5 in February from 31.9 in the previous month. The new order index fell to 2, 1.9 comma from 42.9 in the previous month. The number of employees index fell to 5.3 comma from 11.9 in the previous month. The shipment index fell to 2.6.3 comma from 41 in the previous month. The delivery time index increased to 12.4 comma from 6.8 in the previous month. The inventory index fell to dash 0.4 comma from 11.7 in the previous month. The team led by Scott Cronert said that investors are betting that Trump's America First policy will have a good for business impact. We don't disagree with this, but we also think that the damage to fundamentals by related policies may not have been priced in yet. There is no major change in our view of the whole year. But the downside risks in the near and medium term have increased slightly. On Thursday's economic data, the number of first-time unemployment claims in the United States increased by 5,000 to 219,000 last week, which was estimated to be 215,000. The forecast range of 41 economists surveyed was 190,000 to 221,000. The four-week moving average is 215,300. 
In the week ending February 8th, the number of people who continued to apply for unemployment benefits increased by 24,000 to 1.869 million. Let's return to the topic of the AI military investments, Palantir and BBAI's future amidst DoD budget cuts. The realm of modern warfare is undergoing a profound transformation. Artificial intelligence, or AI, is no longer a futuristic concept confined to science fiction. It is rapidly becoming an integral part of military strategies and operations. AI promises to revolutionize defense capabilities, from enhancing situational awareness and automating tasks, to improving decision-making processes. This shift has led to the emergence of specialized companies like Palantir Technologies Inc. and Black Sky Technology Inc. These companies are at the forefront of developing and deploying AI solutions tailored for military applications. However, this evolving landscape is not without its challenges. The U.S. Department of Defense, the primary customer for these AI military companies, is facing budgetary constraints. These constraints have significant implications for the future of AI investment in the defense sector. The DOD's proposed budget cuts for 2026 have sent ripples of uncertainty through the industry. This essay delves into the evolving dynamics between the DOD's budgetary landscape and its impact on leading AI military companies, Palantir and Black Sky Technology Inc. We will analyze the potential risks and opportunities presented by these changes, focusing on how Palantir and BBAI are positioned to navigate this evolving terrain. The DOD's budget, while vast, is not limitless. It is subject to the political realities of the budgetary process. This process involves intricate negotiations between the executive and legislative branches of the U.S. government. In recent years, there has been a growing emphasis on fiscal responsibility. This has led to increased scrutiny of defense spending. The DOD is now under pressure to prioritize its spending and find efficiencies wherever possible. These budgetary pressures have direct consequences for companies operating in the defense sector, particularly those specializing in cutting-edge technologies like AI. The DOD's willingness to invest in new AI capabilities may be tempered by the need to balance these investments against other priorities. This uncertainty surrounding future defense spending creates a complex environment for AI military companies. They must adapt to the shifting sands of DOD priorities to secure their long-term viability. Palantir Technologies, a data analytics and software company, has emerged as a prominent player in the AI military sector. Founded in 2003, Palantir has gained recognition for its sophisticated data integration and analysis platforms Foundry and Gotham. These platforms have found applications in various fields, including intelligence analysis, counterterrorism, and defense operations. Palantir's success in securing lucrative government contracts, particularly with the DoD, has propelled its growth and established it as a major force in the industry. However, Palantir's recent stock performance has been marked by volatility. The company's share price experienced a significant plunge, raising concerns among investors. This downturn can be attributed to a confluence of factors. One significant factor is the uncertainty surrounding future DoD spending. The prospect of budget cuts has cast a shadow over Palantir's revenue streams as a significant portion of its business is derived from government contracts. All right, let's dive into the world of government contracts. This is where things get really interesting for AI military enterprises. You see, governments around the globe are investing heavily in AI for defense and security purposes. And, uh, well, this creates a massive opportunity for companies in the sector. Now, securing a government contract isn't easy. It requires a lot of compliance, understanding of regulations, and honestly... A bit of patience, but once a company lands one, it can be incredibly lucrative. We're talking multi-year deals and substantial funding that can propel a business to new heights. So if you're looking to invest in AI military enterprises, keeping an eye on companies that have a track record of securing government contracts might be a smart move. It's all about riding the wave and capitalizing on these opportunities. In this segment, we will delve into a comparison between Palantir's platforms and BBAI's conductor OS. Palantir, known for its robust data integration and analytics capabilities, has established itself as a key player in the AI military sector. On the other hand, BCI's conductor OS offers a unique approach with its focus on operational efficiency and real-time decision-making. By examining the strengths and weaknesses of each platform, we can better understand their respective roles and potential in the defense landscape. 
Now let's take a closer look at the financial health of both Palantir and BBII by analysing their balance sheets. Palantir, with its substantial revenue streams and strategic partnerships, demonstrates a strong financial foundation. BBII, although newer to the scene, shows promising growth and investment potential. By comparing key financial metrics such as revenue, expenses and profitability, we can gain insights into their long-term viability and investment attractiveness. Moving on, it's crucial to address the risks associated with investing in the AI military-industrial complex. These risks include regulatory changes, technological advancements and geopolitical tensions. Investors must carefully consider these factors when evaluating the potential returns and stability of their investments. By understanding the inherent risks, we can better navigate the complexities of this rapidly evolving sector. Finally, let's explore the future of AI and defense, focusing on both the opportunities and uncertainties that lie ahead. The integration of AI technologies into military operations presents vast potential for innovation and efficiency. However, it also brings challenges such as ethical considerations, technological dependencies, and the unpredictability of future conflicts. By weighing these opportunities against the uncertainties, we can form a more comprehensive view of what the future holds for AI in defense. Thank you for watching. If you find these analyses helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and click the notification bell to get more updates. For more details and latest examples on stock technical analysis methods, please join my Discord group and YouTube membership channel. The links to the Discord group and YouTube membership channel are placed below this video. See you next time.